Queen here with another video for you from the division and this week again it's the vendor reset so I'll take you around all the safe rooms and the checkpoints in the division and giving you my recommendations on items that you should purchase so let's crack on with the video and see what we've got this week Okay, starting off in the weapons vendor this week in the base of operations, we do have a tactical vector 45 ACP. Now this comes with 38% critical hit damage and 18.1k base damage off 5,000 firearms. It has got unforgiving, vicious and destructive on it in terms of its talents. So it has got some great talents on there along with the 38% critical hit chance and a nice base damage. So if the SMGs are still your thing and you like the vector 45 ACP, then this is here in the base of operations for you to pick up this week okay in the advanced uh, weaponry vendor in the, the base of operations this week there is a never org a3p in here this one's got the 12% critical hit damage but does come with 18.9k base damage it's got some fairly decent talents on here as well with the first one being unforgiven the second one being responsive and then the third one in the free slot there being commanded which obviously you can change up for anything that you'd wish to add in that third slot there in the special equipment vendor in the terminal this week, there are a few items uh, worth looking at. we got a Navy MP5N here. It's got 35% critical hit damage and 16.6k base damage. It does come with vicious, capable and ferocious as its talents. On there, uh, looking at this, it would probably be a, a good PvE weapon um, in terms of the damage. And I'd probably just recommend our those rolling away capable. Uh, also as well, we've got the ACRE. This has got 23% enemy armor damage. It comes at 16.9k base damage. It does come with Matitius, Brutal and Unforgiving of it, as its talents on that weapon. Also as well, we do have a, a pair of Savage Gloves this week. Now these are rolled on electronics, so I'd recommend just rolling them away onto firearms. But it does come with 1,184 assault rifle damage, 6% critical hit chance and 10% damage to elites. Over in Autumn's Hope Safe House this week, there is a, a prototype performance mod which does come with 5% pulse duration. So if you are running with the pulse and you're looking for the prototype performance mod just to give you that extra duration on your pulse, then we have that this week in Autumn's Hope. Over in uh, Dante's Run Safe House this week, there is a prototype performance mod which gives you 7.5% turret duration. So if you don't do run with that turret and you're looking for it to stay up that little bit longer, then this prototype mod is here for you. Over in the Kerman Station uh, safe house this week, there is a fairly decent looking flash hider here. It comes with 16.5% accuracy. It's got 3% critical hit chance and 4% critical hit damage. Over in the last call safe house this week, there is a lightweight M4, but nothing to get excited about compared to what we've had the last couple of weeks. It does come with 19% enemy armor damage, which is low compared to the others that we've had. Uh, and 17.7k base damage, it does come with Vicious, Capable and Deadly on it as its talents. However, if you've not been able to collect any of the uh, lightweight M4s that have been around the last couple of weeks, and you just want to try one out, then it is one here should you wish. In the ward uh, safe house this week, there is a prototype performance mod with 7% support st station duration. So if you do run that support station, uh, then this is a great uh, prototype mod here to collect to help complement that build. Over in the Grindhouse safe house this week, there is a 552 hollow sight uh, scope here. It does come with 6.5% critical hit chance, 4.5% optimal range and 4% critical hit damage. Now it's not the best in terms of rolls, in terms of scopes, obviously we would probably want headshot damage and replace that optimal range. But if you are looking just for something in the meantime to get your crit hit chance and crit hit damage up, then this scope could be the one for you here. Over in the firewall safe house this week, there is a prototype stamina mod here at 253 stamina and does come with 256 armor. So if you are looking for that stamina mod with armor rolls on it, then this is where you can find it this week. 
Over in the church, which is the DZ6 safe house uh, this week, uh, there is a fairly decent D3 frontline uh, vest here. As I mentioned on previous videos and on my build video, this is a great PVE build to have. Now, this one is rolled on stamina at 1215. It does come with 4% health on kill, 10% exotic damage resilience, and 55% ammo capacity. Now, if you are looking to use this as a PVE build, then I just recommend rolling away the exotic damage resilience and looking to put on damage to elites. Uh, there, but this is a, a very uh, decent uh, looking chess piece this week. Over in East 46th Street, which is your DC5 vendor this week, there is a nice Tyrant Suppressor here. It comes with 6.5% critical hit chance, 4% critical hit damage and 6% headshot damage. It does have as well of his minor attribute as 43% uh, reduced threat on it. Over in West 46th Street, which is your DZ5 vendor, uh, this week there is a nice uh, loud vent break. This one's got 17% critical hit damage, 3% critical hit chance and 3% stability. His minor attribute on here is 41% uh, increased threat. Over in East 42nd Street this week, which is your DZ3 vendor, we do have a classic AK-47 here. Now, it has got a low enemy armor damage at 18% uh, compared to other assault rifles that have been out. However, it does come with 20.8k base damage with its talents as unforgiving, responsive and predatory. There is the free talent, so you could roll away that predatory there if you'd wish to maybe put competent or whatever you'd like in as your free talent so this could be a very nice uh, assault rifle to have also as well it is a prototype performance mod here which does come with six percent seeker mine explosion radius so for any of you skill builds out there that like using the seeker mine then there is that prototype mod here just to help with the explosion radius over in East 40th Street, which is your DC3 vendor, there is a prototype electronics mod here this week. It is low in terms of the electronics at 233, uh, but it has got health on here at 1706. So if you are just looking for a prototype electronics mod with health at the moment just to get you by, then there is one here in this vendor. Over in West 39th Street, which is your DC3 vendor this week, there is an extended magazine here. It does come with 108% magazine size. It has got 5% reload speed and 4% critical hit damage. So if you are looking for a better magazine than what you currently have, then it's not a too bad one here that you can look to collect. In the DZ3 safe house, which is your Dark Zone weapons vendor this week, there is a fairly decent enhanced ACR. It's got 20% enemy armor damage, 17.1k base damage. It does come with destructive, focused, and competent there as the free talent. So as I recommend rolling away focus there just due to the high electronics requirements and just putting something on there that would complement your build. Over in East 31st Street, which is your Dark Zone 1 vendor this week, there is a prototype performance mod here which does come with 5% support station healing speed. So if you do run with that support station, then it is a nice uh, performance mod here just to complement that build. I'm sure you'll be back. Look at this. Over in your DZ1 South Vendor this week, which is the one on 5th Avenue, there is a vigorous uh, chess piece here. It is rolled on firearms, so I'd probably just recommend rolling that and putting it on to stamina. But it does come with 1,153 uh, armor, 7% damage to elites, and then 52% ammo capacity. So this is not a bad vigorous chess piece. So if you are looking for one, or if you have already got one but looking for something better, then come and check this one out here this week. In West 34th Street this week, which is your DZ2 vendor, there is a fairly decent robust uh, chest piece here. Now, robust increases your armor while in cover by 10%. It has got 10.5% exotic damage resilience and 5,880 health. Now, it is a bit low on the stamina. You know, you'd probably want to have that around a minimum of 1,200. However, it's not far off, so I would recommend just rolling away the exotic damage resilience on this and putting armor on it. It also does come with 52% ammo capacity. Right agents, that's it this week in terms of your vendor reset. So it's not been a great one, but there is a few items out there uh, floating around that may be of interest to you. Now if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if there is something that I've missed or something that you would recommend on purchasing so from the vendors this week, then leave a comment uh, below. Again agents, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take care.